Then one besties, we are going to an influencer event today. I'm super excited. The event is an Amazon Kindle happy hour hosted by Danielle Carolyn, which honestly is a full circle moment for me. I always loved watching Danielle's YouTube videos, so I'm so excited for this event and to meet her and to like have a cute, girly, fun, bookish time. The event is in Soho. It starts around like six o'clock. It goes from six to eight. And I'm just really excited. I am going to the event by myself, but honestly, I'm not super nervous. Maybe I'll get a little bit nervous at the event. Like when, I don't know, it's just like a little awkward when you have no one to talk to and then you, you're kind of like forced to like introduce yourself to people and like, you know, the introvert in me is like, ah, but you know, it's okay and it's fun and it's good to push yourself out of your comfort zone because the best experiences happen that way and that's how you grow and that's how you don't miss out on fun experiences. Meeting new people, sometimes it takes that like one second of like being uncomfortable or just being nervous and you do it anyway and then all of a sudden, who knows, you might meet your new best friend just because you introduced yourself in that one moment even though you felt a little awkward. So if you needed a reminder, just like feel the fear and do it anyway. Even if you're nervous, don't let that stop you because don't miss out on fun experiences and just this is life have fun it's not a big deal you know everyone gets nervous everyone you know it's fine so <laughs> that's kind of like the mindset of today and really i'm not that nervous i remember the first time i went to an event by myself i was super super nervous like felt like i was gonna throw up i was like should i even go like very nervous but i went anyway and i had a fun time like just getting to meet other content creators and just like the events itself are always so cute even the whole process of like getting ready and like filming my tiktoks and my youtube video like getting ready for the event is just so fun i definitely want to go to more if i'm invited if you're wondering like a little behind the scenes of how you get invited to these events i always leave my email in my social media bios and tiktok and instagram i always have my email on there so sometimes like i'll check my inbox and a brand will email you that you're invited to a certain event and that's how it works. It's always a nice surprise when I check my inbox and I get invited to something. I have an idea of an outfit in my head and I'm really hoping that it looks good or else I may cry. I may have a bit of a mental breakdown because that is my only option. I literally went through all my clothes last night, hated everything, hated everything, did not like anything, wasn't feeling anything. I wanna go for like an effortlessly cool kind of look. So I'll show you guys later what the outfit is and hopefully it looks good. But yeah, that's my plan for today. While I have some time, it's 12.43 now and you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's so early. Why are you even thinking about getting ready? This is how my brain works. I'm like, okay, well I need to make content. So I did my hair already, so that saved me some time. I showered this morning and like did all of that stuff. I need to leave time to like do my makeup, but also film TikToks getting ready and like what TikToks am I gonna film as I'm getting ready? And then I need to leave some time to like try on my outfit. Hopefully it fits right. And then I need to leave some time to like take pictures after I'm all ready and like film TikToks after I'm all ready. And then I'm like, okay, so when do I eat? Because then I also don't wanna feel bloated. So I don't wanna eat like right, right before. Like I wanna leave some time like before I get ready to then eat. So. And then I also should probably have another cup of coffee so that I'm awake for the event, which maybe you're hearing me talk right now and you're like, you definitely don't need coffee, but it's gonna happen anyway. I always end up thinking that I won't have enough time because I hate rushing, so I'd rather like be ready super early than be in a time crunch. So that's how my brain works and I always feel like I'm gonna be late even though I have plenty of time. So right now I'm thinking, okay, should I start getting ready at one? The event is at six. Probably not, but I'm probably gonna end up getting ready at once. So yeah, so that's my update. I have these little eye masks on now. I love doing them like to feel like, you know, a little self care when you're getting ready. I have these Grace and Stella restoring eye masks and I love using that before I put on my makeup sometimes just for a little extra self care for the vibes. I don't know. So I think they're really cute. And I'm gonna eat something really quick now. I have a couple of factor meals, so not sponsored. Should be though. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna eat a factor meal, watch some YouTube. So I will catch in with you guys in a little bit. Who told you that it was too late? When was it that you started leaning that way? Four tires cut into the clay. It dries up and now there's just one road to take It's growing up I just got a package in the mail so I figured let's open it up together Do a little PR unboxing and then I'll also show you guys Because I also got some Charlotte Tilbury PR as well I swear the scream that I scrimped I'm so excited because one of my favorite brands of all time And I'm so excited to really try out their stuff Because Miss Charlotte she's a little bit expensive So I'm excited to see if the hype is worth it If the products live up to the hype so they sent me the magic water cream which i've heard a lot of really good things about this one so i'm excited to try that out and then i also got the broad spectrum spf sunscreen it's a flawless poreless primer 
so it's got SPF in it too, so I feel like this will be great for the beach. And I think, does it have a tint to it? I don't think so, but it's a good sunscreen primer. Perfect. Love it. So excited. And then they sent me this Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. Smoothing, healthy looking glow cream bronzer for face and body, infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin D. So excited. And just like the packaging of Charlotte Tilbury's stuff is just so luxury and beautiful and pretty. And then it came with this Eyes to Mesmerize Long Lasting Easy Color in the shade Champagne. So I think it's like a little eye eyeshadow, eye cream shadow. I don't know. So excited about this too. And then it also came with this Beauty Light Wand High Blush. So very excited about that. It's in the shade Pinkasm. Very excited about this one. And then lastly, they sent me this Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint. It's like a little foundation stick. So very excited about this. This one is in the shade 3 Fair. So, so I'm gonna try this out today, maybe. Actually, I don't know about today, but I'll definitely try this out soon. I think for today's makeup look, definitely the bronzer and the magic cream. And maybe I'll try out the blush too. Yay! I mean, just look at this box. So cute. And then to the package of today. No idea what it is, so let's open it up. Stop it right now. Oh my gosh, I think this is the perfume. Okay, ooh, I'm so excited about this. The packaging, first and foremost. The packaging, ladies and gentlemen. The packaging. Oh my goodness. Paris 1996 Warm Vanilla Madeline. I love a vanilla fragrance. I love a vanilla that's like not too like vanilla, you know? Like I don't want too powerful of a vanilla scent. So I'm curious whether or not I'm gonna like this. Do a little taste, not taste, not taste test, smell test. I wish you guys could smell this right now because it just, it's like the perfect, it smells like a vanilla cookie. Like it smells like a Madeleine cookie. Like I said before, it's like not too powerful of a, like a vanilla scent where like you're like, oh my God, like you just like attacked my nostrils with the vanilla scent. Like it's not like one of those vanilla scents. It's like a very like muted, I really love this. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm gonna film some TikToks, get ready, get dressed, do my hair, do my makeup, all of that stuff. And then I will check back in with you guys after I'm all ready. Okay, so this is the outfit for the event. I have this little like crochet top from Marshalls, I think. And then this top is from Forever 21. I have this belt from Princess Polly. Jeans are from Princess Polly. I don't know how you can see them, but they're just like these low rise jeans. And I have heels on. And then this bag from Princess Polly. It's so cute. I'm gonna do a haul really soon with all the stuff that I got from there, but very cute. Love it. And I never used to wear low rise jeans too. I always thought they wouldn't be flattering. And I'm still like not really used to them. Like I kind of hate when my belly button shows, but. I feel like it's a look. I feel like it's cute, cool, effortless. Hopefully that's the vibe I'm giving. And yeah, this is the outfit for the event. And let's get ready to go. I have to tell you all about it because it really was like 
a great event. Probably my favorite event so far that I've been to. So, so good. Okay, I actually took some notes on the Uber here because first of all, Uber voucher. All then should do that. That was so good. Came in handy. So while I was in the Uber, I wrote down some notes because I didn't want to miss anything in my little debrief to you guys. And I also ordered Buffalo Wild Wings so that, let's check on that actually. One minute away, perfection. So I got some Buffalo Wild Wings. I got garlic parm wings, honey barbecue, tater tots, cheese curds. Probably won't finish it all tonight, but I wanted a little bit of everything. So I'm starving right now. So that is the vibe of tonight. But I wanted to open up my goodie bag with you guys because they gave us a little goodie bag at the end. So let's open up the goodie bag first and then I'll do a little debrief. But let's see what we got. Stop it right now. This is so soft. Oh my God. A blanket and it's so cute. This pattern. Wait, I actually love this. This is so like trendy. So aesthetic. <laughs> love this. Let's put it on even though it's not really that cold in here oh my gosh this is, i wish you guys could feel this right now this feels like so so soft next up what is this <gasps> no way a blanket and a candle just like the most perfect gift ever stop it right now book club oh my gosh it says book club it says homesick hmm interesting smell Orange, nutmeg, cinnamon, sandalwood, vanilla, balsam, balsam? Is that how you say it? Amber? Hmm. I actually really love this. Wish you could smell it. But yeah, it's really, really good. Love that. Wow, I'm so excited about this. The candle and the blanket together? Man, Hunter PR, they really killed it with this one. And the Bibliotech was such a cool venue. Like the whole idea of this event was just so good. They had like a little like book trivia station and they had a decorating your Kindle station. And then as soon as you came in, you filled out a little name tag of your name and then what book you're reading currently. So just like a great, a great event. It was like a happy hour event. So it was mainly like mingling the whole time. You're introducing yourself to new people and just chatting and it was really cool, especially I went alone and I ended up making so many new friends. It was so cool and I met so many amazing, amazing people there, especially someone I'm in my 20s. I have like one best friend, like it's so nice to like meet new people and make new friends and this is like just what I needed to, not only for like the making friends part, but also I've been in such a bad reading slump. Now I feel like inspired again, like just being around like bookish people and just like talking about books. I just forgot how much fun it is to just like chat with you guys about books and yeah, so I'm excited to jump back into a little bit more reading, maybe do some more bookish videos because now I feel like I'm in the mood again. So yeah, okay, back to the unboxing. I think we got some stickers. We have this Kindle belongs to, Kindle Girly with a little iced coffee, my emotional support Kindle, and I'd rather stay at home with my Kindle. Love that. So yeah, this is like an Amazon Kindle event and it was at the bibliotheque, like I said, amazing venue, so aesthetic, so cute. I definitely wanna go there like on a regular day and check it out because I don't know, it just seems so cool. Like you have like, it's like a bar, but then they also have coffee and then books and you could pull the books from the library. I don't know, it's just really, really cool. I don't know what else to say about that. And then this tote bag itself is just so cute. It says, do it for the plot. I love that. So cute. No, it was such a cool event. And Danielle Carolyn hosted it. And I've been watching Danielle for so long. I love her YouTube videos. So it's like weird when you meet someone in person that you've watched online and like you know them, like you feel like you're besties with them, but you never know like how they're actually gonna be in person. And she was so, so incredibly sweet. I honestly, I don't wanna say I wasn't expecting it, but like I just wasn't sure like what she was gonna be like in person, but she was so kind and so sweet. I got to chat to her for a little bit and take a couple pictures with her but she's just so incredibly sweet. And everyone who was there was so nice. I could go up to anyone, start a conversation and like no one was weird about it. Like everyone was just so welcoming and so nice. And I made so many new friends tonight. There really should be more bookish events because it was just such a good crowd. Highlight of the night, Kristen, girly, if you're watching this right now, love you. She came up to me and said she watches my YouTube videos. So we took a picture together and she was really sweet. And again, everyone who was there was so sweet. I met two new friends, Sarah McKenzie, if you're also watching this. Love you girlies. But in the spirit of this Kindle event, I figure, let me show you what's on my Kindle. Oh, also, so <laughs> here's my qualm, here's my dilemma. So they had a Kindle decorating station. However, when I first got this Kindle, I got a little too overexcited. 
as soon as I got the pop socket and I had a couple stickers, I was able to take them off. But this pop socket, I cannot get off for the life of me. If you have any tips for how to get this off, please let me know because I just don't want to like break this Kindle. But like it, she's indestructible. She's not, she's not coming off. So I don't know how I'm going to work my way around this, but I did take the case and what I want to decorate with. Let me actually fix the stickers a little bit before I show you guys. But it's really, really cute and... Hopefully one day I could get this pop socket off so I can put this on it. I picked a little like lavender background and then I got a couple stickers. One of them says read a damn book. Next one says in my Kindle era. This one just has like a book with like flowers. I don't know. It's really cute. And then this one says emotionally attached to fictional characters, which is just so cute. I don't know. Like I just love being a girl and like being a bookish girly and reading my books and chatting with you guys about books. I don't know. It's just so fun and so cozy and so cute. And I love it. Let's talk about what's on my Kindle at the moment. I used to have Kindle Unlimited, but then I stopped paying for the subscription because like I couldn't justify that purchase. So all the Kindle Unlimited books that I did have on here are gone. Okay, so I have Empire of Storms, which is my current read. I'm doing the tandem read, Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. Loving it so far. I love the series. If you haven't read the Throne of Glass series yet, you simply must because it's so good. So that is my current read. I have Darkwind on here too. I've, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this series, but the people that I have heard talk about the series have like raved about it. It's apparently a good like fantasy series, it has some romance in it, but like not like spicy romance. So a good solid fantasy series that I am looking forward to reading at some point. And then I have Zodiac Academy. I'm up to Shadow Princess. I've read all the other ones and it's just like a fun, spicy little fantasy romance. It's about like, I'm really bad with giving descriptions, but it's like sisters, twins, and powers, and a school with everyone has powers, and then romance, student-teacher romance, which like if you're into that, it has a little bit of that in there. Um, it's neither here nor there, but I feel like when it's a fantasy book, like things that are usually taboo or like things that you like wouldn't accept in real life, you eat up in a book because that's just how it works. So I ate up that romance. I, oh my gosh, why can't, why can't I think of their names? Oh my gosh, not Tori, the other one. Anyway, doesn't matter. There's a romance in here, really good. I ate this book up. It's not like the best series of all time, but it's like one of those ones where it's a fun time. So Zodiac Academy is a fun time. Next up, I have The Witch Collector, which I've heard good things about, but never really read. So that's on my TBR too. Then I have You Deserve Each Other, which I've been meaning to get to. It's like a rom-com, second chance romance. I think, I don't know if they get divorced or not. Again, super sorry about all of these book descriptions. They're probably horrible, but yeah, second chance romance, romantic comedy, You Deserve Each Other is the name of that. And then I also have Switched on here, which I read this really really long time ago it's switched by amanda hawking and it's like a fantasy romance i think i'm gonna stop trying to give descriptions for these books because i physically cannot right now and also like after like three hours of socializing with people i feel like my social battery is just at zero right now but yes so i've switched by amanda hawking and then the last one that is on my tbr that i haven't read yet is what lies beyond the veil which is another fantasy romance i have no clue what it's about but I hear the words fantasy romance and it's immediately downloaded, so. Oh, okay, Love Theoretically, I really did enjoy Four Stars, maybe? And then next I have House of Salt and Stars, which actually was a really good one. This one was like an eerie, like mystery fantasy romance, I guess is the best way to describe it, but it's really good. I would say like in the October, like fall months, if you want like a little spooky vibes type of book, this one was a really good one. And then I have The Bodyguard by Catherine Center, which was so cute, so good. It's like a rom-com, but like she's the bodyguard and like he's the celebrity and it was just really, really cute. And then I have Clockwork Angel, which I did read. Absolutely love that series. I still have to read the third one, Clockwork Princess. So that is on my list to finish up that series. But the Infernal Devices series, so, so good. If you haven't read it, please read it. It's so good. Um, then I have, <laughs> with the Kindle, it gets a little scary. It gets a little scary with like, you know, the spicy books. So I have The Nanny, which, okay, the cover is like cartoon cover. You think, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cutesy, like a cute little fun time. The Spice, The Spice, and that's all I'll say on that. So if you want a fun little spicy time, The Nanny is a good one to reach for. Then I have Fourth Wing, which I absolutely loved. Lawless by Elsie Silver. I 
freaking love the Chestnut Spring series. Such a good series. If you want a fun little like cowboy romance, love that whole series. Then I have Icebreaker. Also did enjoy that one. <laughs> Again, if you want like a fun little spicy time, that is also a good one. Oh, these infinite threads, I actually haven't read yet. I read the first one, really forgetting the name of that one, but really good series so far. I definitely want to pick that one back up and finish off the series. And then I have King of Battle and Blood, which I think it says I read it, but like, do I really remember it too much? Not really. I think it was like, just okay. It's like a fantasy romance vampire. It was okay nothing to rave home about or remember. And then I have the Cruel Prince series, which so freaking good. Love that series, ate that series up. If you haven't read that series, 10 out of 10, highly recommend that one. Ooh, okay, Heart of... <laughs> Heart of the Raven Prince was also a really good one. Like, no spice, if you want like just a mystical, not mystical, whimsical like fantasy book. This one is like a Cinderella retelling, like each book in her series has like a different fairy tale retelling. So this one was Cinderella, I think. And this one was a really fun one. I did enjoy that one. And then I have A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows, which is a really good fantasy romance, a little spicy, fun time, but also like, I think it has a good plot. Again, I don't remember the plot, so maybe it didn't have a good plot, but I remember really enjoying it. So this one is by Holly Renee. So that was a good one too. Daughter of No Worlds, really, really good. I don't think I read anything else of the series, but the first book is really, really good. And it has like golden retriever love interest, which you don't really find a lot in a fantasy romance. So I really thought that was kind of refreshing to read about. Like thanks to Lena from the Throne of Glass series, me, it's like golden retriever boy. I don't know, it's just really cute. So I highly enjoyed that one. And then I have the Akatar series, which I'm all caught up, all up to date on that. I absolutely love that series so much and I can't wait for Azriel's book. I really hope it's coming soon because I just need a book on him. Love him. I feel like every man written by Sarah J Mass is just top book boyfriend. I need a man written by Sarah J Mass truly. Ooh, Once Upon a Broken Heart was so good. Such a good like whimsical, like dark fantasy romance almost. Like just so, so good. I don't think there's any spice, but like high tension. Kick your feet, giggling at like little interactions type book so freaking good and the plot and the story is just so magical and just i love it so much Ooh, also divine rivals i also feel that same way about where it's just like divine rivals i think might be my favorite book i haven't read the second one in the series but i haven't heard great things about ruthless vows so i kind of don't want to read it because i don't want that to like taint my love for divine rivals do you know what i mean so i like kind of don't want to read ruthless vows Maybe I should, let me know if I should, but yeah, I absolutely love Divine Rivals. I listened to the audiobook for that one, and I think that was definitely the way to go. I feel like it just enhanced the experience of reading, and it just felt so cozy, and it's like London, World War type of vibes, but like fantasy and like magical typewriters, and just a beautiful, beautiful love story. So good. Shatter Me series, a classic. If you haven't read that, you simply must. Aaron Warner, so good. Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter was really, really cute. Book Lovers by Emily Henry, absolutely love. I also have Why Men Love Bitches, which is just like a self-help book that I read a while ago. I don't know, can't really justify that one. And then I have The X-Hex, which is like a Halloween type of rom-com read. Definitely read that one in the fall time, it's a really fun read. And that is all the books that are on my Kindle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved getting to hang out with you guys and just catch up and I'm excited to continue making more videos. I'll probably film some more videos tomorrow and start a new one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you watched the end of this video, leave a book emoji in the comments below. And if you're watching this as someone who was at the event tonight, who I met, I love you so, so much. And you guys really made my night. I was so nervous going into it, going to an event alone, but everyone was so super sweet and I love you guys so, so much. And I love you all for watching. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Love ya, bye.